This is the Nebula Cosmos 4K SE by Anker, the latest follow-up in the Cosmos series, which is a native 4K UHD smart projector that provides a very bright 1800 ANSI lumens using hybrid beam technology, which blends both LED and laser, which I'll explain a little bit more about later in this video. But make sure to check the link in the description to find out all the details of how you can get one of the best premium all-round projectors on the market including a very early bird pricing discount. Now, let's kick off with taking a look at what comes in the box. You get yourself the plug, a quick start guide, and a very nice remote control, which has dedicated YouTube, Netflix, and Prime Video buttons. But the remote control itself is actually backlit, so when you do use it in dark conditions, the buttons will all light up, which is quite nice. And this is the projector itself. So let's go ahead and dive in to a closer look at the design whilst we run through the key specifications. Okay, so I'm bringing up all of the key specs on the sidebar here. This is a very nice heavy duty design. You can see the integrated lens has this nice red ring around it as well, just to showcase that this does provide a red laser as part of its hybrid beam technology. Now this does provide AI image adjustment as well as the depth sensor. So you can actually use this to do obstacle avoidance, especially when it comes to doing very fast autofocus and auto keystone, which is a very good convenience factor. This has an integrated handle on top, allowing you to very easily take this with you wherever you'd like. And in this video, I will be showcasing this in my bedroom, but also I'm going to take this outdoors and that will give you a great indication of how this performs in various settings. Now for the ports on the back, you have yourself the power plug adapter there. You have a HDMI port. HDMI 2 is an eARC port, so you could connect this to a soundbar, but the speakers in this are incredible, so we will be testing that out regardless. One USB port and an auxiliary input. And there is a power button on the top here if you want to just turn it on manually. And finally on the bottom, you have a quarter 20 inch thread there in case you do want to mount this either on a tripod or ceiling mounted. Now I have the projector set up on my tripod stand here. And before I jump into Google TV and run through the settings, just wanted to talk about the hybrid beam technology. This combines LED and laser light sources using a RGBB four channel LED plus a red laser for the five channel light path design. What that does, it basically enhances brightness and color range by adding a pure red laser to the full color LED base, while the LED compensates for the laser's color limitations, achieving an effect that's close to natural light. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at Google TV and some of the settings that you can find on this. But just before I do that, there is quite a bit of daylight coming into the room. I haven't made it blackout, and this is perfectly usable in daylight conditions because of the hybrid beam technology. And alongside Dolby Vision and giving you really good audio with Dolby Audio speakers, this is going to be usable like a TV if you wanted to use this on the daytime. But to get the best indication of how this performs, I'm going to make it black out and showcase how this looks in a very dark room. Okay, and there you go. You can see how clear and sharp this looks. Netflix is licensed as well, so you have the native apps, and this has all of your favorite apps that you could ever want on a projector, so you don't need to go and look for any third-party workarounds for any other apps. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings. Here you can change the channels and inputs if you do connect any external devices to this. If we dive into projector settings, you can do image correction from here as well. So you have the option for auto keystone correction. If we dive into that, you can turn on or off any of these auto keystone correction setups, either on startup, after you do some movement or in real time. So it's completely up to you how you'd like to do that. You can also do auto screen fit. I've turned on auto obstacle avoidance because that is a very useful feature if you do have maybe like a desk in the way or maybe a floor lamp or anything like that that might obstruct the screen or the wall that you project this onto. Okay, you can see the projection is directly to the bottom of the screen here. I'm gonna put an object in the way so you can see how quick and easy the object avoidance actually works. So I'll put this box in the way. Of course, the eye guard is also on. You can see that worked. Now, if we see, it will do the focus and the keystone itself automatically. And now the projection is higher up and you can see the message obstacle avoided successfully. So that is also a very great feature. In case you want to make any adjustments, you can just do a manual keystone correction. You can do one click image and then you have the option for zoom, which I always like as well. So in case you want to fit this into a particular sized screen or your wall at a set distance, then you have the option to do that. Likewise, similar settings for the focus. 
And if we go over to advanced settings, you can actually turn on eye guard. This basically dims the entire screen if somebody walks in front of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on standard for a bit of a security measure so that the laser beams doesn't hurt your eyes in case anyone looks directly into the projector. You can also do wall color calibration. If you go into projection mode, you can set this to wherever you position the projector. You have motion settings. You can set this from low, medium or high. Then you have some smart solutions for getting some alerts. If we go into display and sound, I'm gonna go ahead into picture. You can actually set some of the different picture modes directly from here. I have the brightness set to 100 because I wanted to showcase how great this looks. With the different picture modes, I'm gonna go ahead and select Nebula Master because this does have Nebula Master Engine, which is powering the Nebula Master mode. And what that does, that provides a more natural, delicate and vivid color styles that kind of match like a Sony TV. Now, although you may not have seen the slight subtle difference to the visuals after I've just selected this, but in person when I'm standing in front of it, I can see it a little bit more vivid, a little bit sharper, much clearer. And I do recommend to select Nebula Master to get the best experience from this projector. If we go into sound, you can set this to either movie, music, outdoors or custom. I will be playing this indoors, so I will leave it on movie, but I will go outdoors as well and showcase how this looks in an outdoor setting. You can use this projector as a speaker as well. So connect to Bluetooth and just play some really high quality audio directly from this. Audio output, I've obviously set this to auto because it will come from the projector, but you can also have various different options to output the audio that matches whatever you want to watch and listen to. And the rest of these settings are very standard settings that you get for a Google TV system. I do recommend when you first get this, you go into system and you go into about, have a look and see if there's a firmware or system update to get the latest features. So always start off before you do anything and check to see if this is all up to date. You also have the option to cast as well from your phone, whether it's Android or iOS. So you can start streaming and playing back directly from your phone onto the projector with very minimal lag. So that's all of the main settings I wanted to run through. Let me go ahead and showcase a demo HDR Dolby Vision video. And then I will showcase one video that basically gives you the perfect indication of how powerful this is and how great the visuals look and how great the Dolby Audio speakers sound, especially when it comes to trying to get a cinematic surround sound type experience. From the moment of its creation, our planet has been a stage for awe-inspiring events, shaping the world we know today. The story of Earth is one of triumphs and tribulations, of growth and destruction, and resilience and adaptation. As we delve into the depths of our planet's history, we are reminded of the remarkable journey that has led us to this very moment. begin at the very beginning, when Earth was nothing more than a swirling mass of gases and dust floating in the vastness of space. Over billions of years, these elements coalesced to form our planet, and thus began the epic tale of Earth's evolution. Now you saw how clear and amazing that looked. The Dolby Vision, I have to be honest, is so much better than any other projector that I've seen. It just gives you deeper darks, astonishing brightness and just ultra vivid colors as you can just see in these examples of the cosmos. Now the next video demo I'm going to showcase is going to be split between indoors where you're seeing it right now and outdoors. So I will split the video in two parts. The first part will be shot indoors here in my bedroom and the second part will continue the video outdoors just so I can show you both scenarios of how this performs in different conditions. So let's go ahead and play back that video from Dolby Vision. From the beginning, we've asked the impossible questions. How do we spark awe? How do we evoke wonder? And how do we create an experience that takes you there? That immerses you in the moment. Spectacular. We ideate. We innovate. 
fate. We find a better way. We study the senses. We measure awe. We calibrate wonder. We tinker. We test. We fine tune. We keep going until the solution's in sight. We design. fellow innovators to blur the line between here and here. To take you to new worlds. you connect and give you the power to see, to hear, and feel the spectacular. Imagine where we'll take you next. And there you have it. Hopefully you heard how great the audio sounds both indoors and outdoors. It was incredible. The audio filled my entire garden. And if you're on the lookout for a brand new home theater projector system, then look no further than the Nebula Cosmos 4K SE. Make sure to check the link in the description down below. Check out all of the latest discounts and the latest pricing information. They do have some early bird discounts, so you can get a few hundred dollars off of the retail price. And it's no wonder that this has been dubbed as the best 4K smart projector with Dolby Vision under $1,500. As always, if you have any other comments or questions about this projector, then do drop them down below. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I review all the latest projectors all the time, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be excited for the ones that we have coming out very soon. And I will see you all at the next one. Take care.